Good morning, guys. I'm Ariel over here, and today I wanted to show you how I make omelets. You probably have heard me mention that I don't particularly love breakfast, so I almost never eat breakfast, like only a few times in an entire year. But when I have friends over, or sometimes I have somebody over for brunch, or if I have guests staying at the house who do like breakfast or something like that, I do have a couple fun things I like to make for people who do like eating in the morning. Anyway, so omelets are probably one of my favorites. And of course you can put just about anything you like into an omelet. This is going to be my particular favorite things. So I'm doing omelets for two people here. So I'm going to do six eggs. We both tend to have pretty good appetites, so you could certainly do uh, a lesser amount of eggs if you um, didn't want to end up with a large omelet. And first thing I'm going to do is heat up my um, filling ingredients. I'm going to start with the mushrooms. Again, you could do just about any kind of veggies you like in here, but I already sliced up a pile of mushrooms and I want to cook them just a little bit. So I'm going to saute them in a bit of butter here. You could also use just a bit of water. Don't put too much in because as soon as the mushrooms start to cook, they will, they will kind of create water that's drawing out of them. And obviously we don't want our filling to be too juicy and liquid on our omelets. And then adding a little bit of salt is going to draw some of the moisture out of them as well. So we're going to let those simmer there for a minute on low. And the other ingredients I've got here are obviously the eggs, um, some smoked salmon. I just crumbled it up into little pieces so it, I don't have a big chunk when you take a bite of your omelet. And tomatoes, which I kind of quartered. These are little cherry tomatoes, so I just cut them into little pieces so that so you don't have pieces so large you can't um, take a convenient bite of your omelet. Let those cook. And then the other thing I like to do is some greens inside and then I put sprouts on top as well. And that was just like a tablespoon of water, and that's all going to evaporate away again here in a minute. Okay, so we got our mushrooms just kind of tenderized there a little bit. And now the tomatoes, I don't really want to cook a whole lot. I just want them to not be cold going into the omelet, so I'm just going to kind of pile them onto the side of the pan here and. Just let the steam for everything cooking kind of warm them through. And then I'm going to just kind of wilt a little bit of my greens here. These things always shrink massively as soon as you put them up um, and heat them up. So that pile is just going to kind of shrink down there as well. And while it's doing that, let's get an omelet pan. I do have one of these ceramic pans that I use pretty much for nothing except for eggs because they uh, stick too much to do this kind of omelet to anything else. And I definitely don't want to use the non-stick um, like Teflon and chemical coated pans. So let's see how those are all just wilting and going limp. That's perfect. Need much more heat there. That's going to be pretty good. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to swap the pans here now. Get just a little butter. I need a tiny bit more onto the bottom of that skillet. Okay. 
And I'm turning that second pan with the veggies off because that's sufficiently hot and wilted there. What we want. Get out of it the way. And now I am going to make this one omelet at a time because I don't have a big griddle or anything. So I'm going to pour about half my eggs in here. This is just on low. Let's cut that half. And now this is on low, but it's going to start cooking fairly quickly here. You're going to see. Give it just a, a second. I'm going to start kind of pulling the, um, the edges into the middle because I want to keep this as tender and fluffy as possible. You could add, some people like to beat milk into their eggs and other things. I don't usually do that. I do just the eggs and I've always enjoyed it just fine. I'm not quite getting an edge there yet. As soon as the very bottom layer starts to cook, we're going to, going to move it so that it doesn't make just a big solid egg block. There you can kind of see how when I pull it in I'm, I'm folding up the, uh, the more cooked part into the center and letting the less cooked part run back out to the edges. And once it gets just a little bit more done, I'm going to start adding our ingredients. Let's see again how you can see me pulling the outside in just a bit and letting the, the raw part of the egg run back out toward the edges. Okay, now that's going to cook quicker than you think. So I'm going to sprinkle kind of in a line some of my salmon and then add my other veggies here them to kind of cook into the egg just a little bit. Sprinkle in some mushrooms, some tomatoes, and again these are just my favorite omelet ingredients. And I think they're really pretty. Kind of try to even that out through there. A little bit of my greens which I've wilted down to a, a lump. Doesn't look like much at all now. Do that. And now it's almost peeling free there. Give it just another second. Plate to uh, put this on. And then I like to use, because I'm not as handy as, as skilled as some people, use two of these so I don't break it too much there. I did a little bit anyway. Um, but I just kind of fold up my extra edges of the egg over top of my ingredients in the middle and then see if I can manage to flip this over. Just kind of like that. Roll it up and that will cook the egg that's left raw a little bit on the inside. Just let it there for just a second. And we're going to top that with some sprouts. Really good because I don't want the eggs to overcooked. Slide that out, and there you go. Ready to eat. Very easy. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.